Hey guys, so here we are with the Rainbow Death Knight and uh, before with the Death Knights we used to use the Malignant Horror to spend our corpses. Uh, I'm just showing you this card so you know it's no longer available and we can't use it as a corpse spender anymore, at least in standard. It is a wild card if you want to play wild and tweak with the deck this could be better and would be better than like Ma, for example. But I play standard, so this is a standard deck we're going to look at. I just want to make the note that uh, we don't have this spender anymore. And a big part of this horseman deck is uh, spending our corpses. So um, here's the deck. I'll put the, uh, the code in the uh, description but pretty much if you've ever played a DK it's kind of the same you're just in the early turns you get in your uh, small guys out and trying to produce corpses you want to be producing corpses for either your corpse farm the corpse bride and uh, when you're doing that you're trying to add on to the total of this card. Climatic Necrotic Explosion. So usually this is like a final punch. Some situations where if you can see maybe they don't have a bunch of cards in their hand. And this could bring you like within a couple damage. Because it also does give you uh, minions on the field. And they're definitely pretty awesome minions. They're not just two twos by the time you cast it because this is going to be improved by spending your corpses throughout the game um so there's many options with this deck as you're playing it and i'm just going to go over a couple ways of how you can play it um the new cards the rainbow seamstress she's pretty awesome it's a rainbow deck so you get all three the life steal reborn and rush and on turn three if needed I mean, it's it's a pretty powerful card. So that's one of the newer ones from this DLC. And uh, the Headless Horseman, which the deck's named after. He's kind of interesting. I mean, I'm kind of at a loss for words on him because he can really tweak with how the deck plays, but he's also very powerful. So. It gives you five armor, as you see on the card, but it also destroys a minion, any minion of your choosing. Well, okay, actually, no, it's the most attack. This one you don't choose. I take that back. But uh, So it destroys the highest attack enemy minion, and then it also changes your hero power, and that's where I'm kind of torn on it. Uh, as you see, you get the deal three damage with crushing brawn, and... Uh, Instead of getting your your 1-1 one, one minion, which the 1-1 one, one minion can be powerful depending on if you're using the uh, the Grim Walker to get your, your Poisonous. So, th like I said, there's a couple ways you can go with this. The Headless Horseman, I personally like to only use in a pinch. Because that's kind of like a side quest or side game to me. It's not the main point of the deck. But um, to help you defensively, you got this guy. And you could use your hero power. Or you can use crop rotation. And that's super powerful if you can do that on turn 6. And they have a bunch of stuff out. Because you get 4 poisonous right off. And then possibly your hero power. Depending on what turn and how you're doing for mana. Um, so that's one of the ways you can play this deck. Um... Dr. Stitch is a new, another new card from this DLC, and it actually ends up being four minions, pretty much. It's, it's a pretty epic card, so you're going to get to choose three minions, and each one it transforms into after you kill the prior one. So Dr. Stitch, when the enemy kills him, it'll turn into the uh, five cost, and then it'll turn into the three cost. And then it'll turn into the one cost. So it's like four minions and four corpses. So 
so it's a very handy card and pretty powerful if used correctly and you know when you're picking them cards look at their powers and their death rattles the battle cries aren't going to work because you're not casting the card but the death rattles and if you need like a taunter i know i've seen that taunt minion that's a it's a one five and then on the enemy turns it's a three five he's pretty handy in a pinch but uh so dr stitch is uh definitely a very powerful card that's one of the new star cards you'll have to craft unless you get lucky enough to pull them out of a pack and then same with the headless horseman you'll have to craft him too um if you're a returning player you should already have the primus from the season before uh well if you're a returning death knight player and then same with the explosion and the pit boss so when i went to make this deck i only had to craft these two for stars uh ma and pa is another one that's very handy at generating corpses and spending your corpses because yet again you got to spend corpses to get this at a higher damage that's the main key of this deck is spending your corpses so that you can hopefully finish them off with that um if you're getting low on life the primus like if they have a really big minion out when you destroy it with his runes of blood it also gives you the life uh, to your hero not only does the minion gain the health but your hero gains that health too so and then depending on the situations maybe your taunter is something that's going to be more important you might want to get them two three three on dead taunters out or uh, if you got a spell of course we don't really have much for spells in here that deal damage i don't think we have any to be honest unless you've magically discovered a spell which I don't believe there's really I guess this one here so you could you could uh, do this on turn 8 and wait for uh, your necrotic explosion and it adds 3 to it for you so like I've said already a couple times there's many options with this deck it can be played many ways and that's very nice with the RNG of the game because it loves to give you cards that you know you don't need or that you need at a certain time so uh, as for the giant pretty much he should be free anytime you're casting him uh, because you're gonna be spending corpse a lot if I mean if not free then really cheap like one or two but uh, most of the times when I'm casting him he's a free guy and what's good about him is he's a distraction I don't think I hardly ever attack the hero with this guy, but they are busy trying to drop him. And, uh, you know, it, it costs you nothing. So there's just, a, it's a win win card. It really is. And then if it does survive, if they don't drop him, then you do get the eight attack. So, but 90% of the time they drop him and you don't get to attack with him anyways. But for the free cost, you can do him on top of like Dr. Stitch or, you know, the Primus. Or whatever I mean uh, the last one here which this is another one that'll become free or extremely cheap by the time you need it and this card is very interesting because uh, you you can go so many ways with this like who knows what you're gonna capture for an enemy minion and especially if you get one of their Titans like I've stolen the the priest Titan before and every time I used it it was giving me a a legendary guy so and that's just like our titan when every time you use him you're gonna get a rune card so you could also get spells there falling back on that uh with his the next spell you cast has plus three spell damage but uh for the most part that's it i mean you're, you're spending corpses you got taunters it's a really powerful deck the only thing that i feel like it's lacking a little bit on is some life regeneration you can get it like i said with the primus and then who knows what rune cards you could get out of there but um a little more life regeneration would be at least on the longer games uh this can be a quick deck if you get the right cards in the right order it can really be good uh, i'll put an ideal what you want on turn 
like three, four, five, the crunch time to get, you know, that quick blow. But uh, it's really designed for both. It can be a long game or a short game. So let me know what you guys think of it. And uh, I I've had some fun with it. I'm not sure. I'll have to check on what his record is. I don't think records are coming up yet until I get at least 10 games in. So, but uh, it's been pretty powerful. Like I said, the only thing I could use is some life regen. 